The year 1968 marked many changes for the United States and is considered one of the most turbulent and pivotal 12-month periods in American history. The slowly building upheaval of the 1960s reached an apex that year. Sit-ins and riots became commonplace. Leaders were assassinated and social experimentation and psychedelic music became the rage across the nation. In the fall of that year, in the cozy Cleveland suburb of Solon, Ohio, a group of teachers, students, and musicians involved with the choral and band music programs at the local high school decided to form a singing and dancing show choir because they desperately wanted people to hear something happy, to find a diversion, some distraction from the tragedy that had intruded into their lives. With the goal to put a smile back on people's faces, they picked the name Good Vibrations, which they borrowed from the Beach Boys hit and put together a unique medley of psychedelic pop and rock tunes combined with high energy, locomotion inspired dance moves. It wasn't before long that the group cultivated a large group of fans who loved Good Vibrations' infectious, feel good psychedelic sound and groovy attitude. One critic described their music as weirdly in sync with the spirit of the counterculture revolution, yet at the same time undeniably charming. As their popularity grew, they performed all over Northeast Ohio, including making appearances on local Cleveland TV shows including The Upbeat Show and The Gene Carroll Show. They were also invited to perform at a Peace and Love music concert held in San Francisco that year. Along the way, the group recorded two albums, here Comes Good Vibrations and Good Vibrations Sing Along 68. But the group's meteoric rise was short-lived. Like the country, the group grew deeply divided over its direction, with some members wanting to do more hard edge protest material and others wanting to keep the more trippy pop sound. After a mere nine months of non-stop singing and dancing, the group decided to disband when it became apparent to everyone involved that the good vibes that had initially brought them together were now gone. It wasn't until 1985 under the guidance of Dave Curtis that the idea for a Solon High School show choir was resurrected with the new name Music in Motion. Rumor has it he saw the original group perform at a Randall Park Mall appearance when he was still a teenager and always wanted to have a similar group when he became a music teacher. The group continues performing on to this day under the direction of Pam Davenport, still putting smiles on people's faces.